path and Euler circuit for the directed graph. So what do you mean by Euler path? An Euler path in a graph G is a simple path that contains every edge of the graph. What does it mean? We need to cover each and every edge but exactly once. In case you can do that, that path is categorized as a Euler path. There is a similar term that is a Euler circuit. So we need to find the simple circuit that contain each and every edge. So what is the difference between these two one? So if the end point of that path is different, that is called as an Euler path. And if the end points of that path is same, it is called as a Euler circuit. So let's try to find the Euler path in Euler circuit for this directed graph. So let's suppose we are starting from the vertex A, moving towards the vertex B, where along this direction, then we can move to the vertex C. But can you move to the vertex D? So no. Let's try from the another way. So rather than moving to the vertex B, let's move to the vertex D first. And then after that, we will move to the vertex C. Now from the C vertex, we cannot move to the vertex D. It means we cannot cover each and every edge exactly once. So it means it does not have Euler path. As well as no Euler circuit in this case. Now what about this one? So can you reconstruct this graph without lifting of the pen? So in this case you can. You can start from the vertex A. Then move to the vertex B. Then C. Then A. D. C. So you have started from the A. Then B. C. A. D. C. And the end points are different. Means this graph has Euler path. But not Euler circuit. In order to find whether the directed graph has an Euler circuit or an Euler path, firstly we need to know what is a weakly connected graph. So a weakly connected graph means if it is a connected in the underlying undirected graph. So for the brief explanation of the weakly connected graph, the link is provided in the description. Now, if a graph is a directed and it is a multigraph with a no isolated vertex, then it has an Euler circuit if and only if it is a weakly connected graph and the in degree and the out degree of each vertex are equal. The second result is a directed multigraph with a no isolated vertex has an Euler path but cannot have Euler circuit if and only if it is a weakly connected and the in degree and the out degree of each vertex is same but there must exist two vertices such that one of the vertices in degree is larger than its out degree and the other vertex out degree must be larger than its in degree. So what does it mean? Suppose in a graph there exist two vertices V1 and V2 such that there must be just one vertex whose in degree is greater than its out degree and moreover in degree of that vertex must be is equal to 1 plus out degree of that vertex. Means in degree is 1 larger than the its outer degree. Same at the same time there must exist a second vertex V2 such that its out degree is greater than its in degree. Moreover out degree of this vertex V2 to 1 plus it's in degree. So if such type of a relation exists in a graph, then definitely the graph has Euler path, but not has Euler circuit. Now let's try to answer this question. The question is whether this graph possesses an Euler circuit or we can say that Euler path. So for that we will calculate the in degree and the out degree of the vertex. So in degree of the vertex V1. So how many edges that is coming towards V1? 
that is 2 in degree of the vertex v1 is 2. So out degree for this one is 1. Now in degree of the vertex v2. So v2 vertex is over here. So how many edges that is coming towards s1? e6, e2. So two edges over here. Out degree. So one is e7 and the second edge is e1. So two out degree for the vertex v2. So v3. So v3 vertex is over here. So how many edges that is coming towards itself? That is 1. So how many edges that is going away from this vertex? One is E3 and another is a E2. So its out degree is 2. In degree of a vertex V4. So how many edges that is coming towards V4? One is E3 and another is a E7. So 2. So out degree for V4. So one is E6 and other is a E4. It's 2. Now you can check it. So in degree and the out degree of V1 vertex and V3 vertices are not same. But for the vertex V2 and V4 are same. So clearly from here this graph does not possess any Euler circle. Because in degree and the out degree of the vertices are not same. Whereas you can observe that the in degree for the vertex V1 is just one greater than the out degree of a vertex V1. Whereas in degree of the vertex V3 is one less than the out degree of the vertex of V3. So it means it this graph has an Euler path but not Euler circuit. Now you can find the Euler path for this graph and comment below. So there are two tricks to identify that the graph does not have Euler circuit. The first trick is if there exist at least two vertices whose in degree is zero then definitely it does not has Euler circuit. And the second trick is if there exist at least two vertices with out degree is equal to zero, then definitely that graph does not have an Euler circuit. Let's try to answer whether the graph possesses Euler circuit or not. So first we will calculate the in degree and out degree of each vertex. So once you will calculate the in degree and the out degree of each vertex, so you can observe that for the vertex A and H, the in degrees are 0. So we are getting at least two vertices whose in degree is 0. So therefore, the graph does not possess an either circuit. Moreover, you can use that theorem which says that the in degree and the out degree of each vertex is equal, then definitely the graph has an either circuit. So in this case, in degree of a vertex A is not is equal to the out degree of a vertex A as well as for the E vertex, in degree of a vertex E is not is equal to the out degree of a vertex E and same for the H. So we are getting a multiple reasons to answer that the graph does not possess an Euler circuit. So answer is no. Question of the day. So determine whether the directed graph shown over here has an Euler circuit. Comment below. Thank you.